hello 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 i am late it's good to see you thank you for waiting Fulton amber <laughs> digs be big emily pouch pouch tyler zetta from music flirth at the gorilla night studio lucky nugget i was just hanging out over on the conjun area doing the q a well participating in the q a i was a, a participant it was fun so i save multiple times because sometimes i like to take a step back i need to take a step back they've taken everything from me everything but i won't give up i won't allow them to win i will survive they cannot stop my escape so the reason we're going back is save is that it's actually kind of a good thing that i didn't uh get that stars key right away because well first of all i could probably get away with more health i think i used uh the green herb like a oh kind of like a dummy because i'm more likely to find a green herb or a red herb to mix together than a mixed you know what i mean so anyways i don't need to go into all that the thing is we got a nemesis to kill again we get to kill another nemesis and since last time went so well i'm sure you're all thinking if you watched the last stream oh bent why even try anymore well that's because i got this down i think i just gotta look at my inventory and make sure i'm not being too stupid okay i'm not being too stupid i don't think i might need to use the shotgun a couple of times maybe But you know what? Let's just uh, play it safe with the handgun for now. And instead of the oops, instead of the green herb, we'll just take the whole mixed and only use it if I get really hurt. Hey, Slum Dog. Hey, OCDE. Trying to get RNG for grenade launcher. I can do that. I didn't know. Uh, nah, I, I thought I just got the. Uh, Magnum, no matter what. If I get RNG for the grenade launcher, I'd be mighty tempted to, though, because, uh... Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. So I got that whole other area I didn't check. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Yeah, Molten Amber, I did it. It just took me four hours to beat the Nemesis, but I beat him. <laughs> it was a exhausting and glorious moment. Bunch of zombies there. Oh, yeah. Nah, I said I might try to get RNG, but then I thought about it. And I'm like, eh, I don't even know how that works, really. And the Magnum's fine. I don't think there's going to be an issue with the Magnum. I do not need the Stars card. I think they put two of them in there, if I remember right. If I need it again, I'll just come back for it, I guess. But I'm very sure I don't need the Stars card like super sure i don't need the stars guard here it is west cruiser two bucks says sorry i wasn't able to watch the stream yesterday it's cool west it's good to see you again it was like four hours of me fighting nemesis and getting my shit slapped around so uh whether or not you missed a lot is up to perspective but at least you could watch it and if you got tired of seeing me fail you could just skip to like the four hour 30 minute point and be like oh there it is I'm trying to think there's like a smart thing to do and a dumb thing to do here i'm gonna try to be as smart as humanly possible but it also might be the dumbest thing i've ever done it's hard to say let's see how many zombies are over there i think there's an item at the end of the hallway otherwise i don't know why they put a bunch of zombies there right But uh, I'm not super up to wasting a whole bunch of ammo if I don't need to. And it looks like it's, yeah, it ain't just a few of them. And they're kind of spread out now. You know what? Maybe we'll go back there later. Okay, now I need to go up here, dodge the zombies, hopefully not get bit. Try not to use a shotgun if I can avoid it too. 
Yeah, that's a good dodge. Oh, I can't see. Here comes the big guy. He's slow. That's good. I got a good roll there. <laughs> did I remember the stars? I did not remember the stars key OCDE. Damn it. Well, that's okay. You know what? We can do it just like we did last time. So oh, no. Yeah, I already did it last time like that. Damn. Okay, well. Call this practice then. Zombie dodging practice. You're right, I didn't get the star's key. Damn, you remembered more than I did. Then again, I, I was kind of fried out by the nemesis there. I think I stick to this side, right? Ah, yeah. Okay, that's two successful dodges through that hallway, though, so that's pretty good, right? I don't think I'm going to have to min max it to the point that I got to, like, do it all hitless, but I'd prefer not to get hit. Ah, and there it is. And yeah, that's the damage. Dodged all of them just to get bit by that one. Well, that's fine. This means any subsequent bite, I can just fix with the heal spray. It'll be fine, I guess. I gotta get better at, uh, yeah, juking them like that. Well, at least I'm good at dodging those guys. I can dodge like four of them through a hallway, but that one, ah, uh, she got me good. Longer need the key, discard it, yes. Lucky Nugget with 10 bucks. Thank you, Lucky Nugget. He says, still in the hospital, but I feel a hundred times better than they moved me into a fancy schmancy room unless things plugged into me. Almost out, but goddamn acute pancrea, pancreatitis is a bitch to get over. Well, I hope you feel a thousand times better once you get over it. Because uh, I don't know what that is. But anytime they say something's wrong with your insides, I'm always like, oh, <laughs> that's the worst. Also, I screwed up and it's a magnum. That's fine. Okay. Then being a magnum, what I'm not okay with is that I had to come back here to get a health spray. I botched all of this. I botched it. It's all botched. We got some handgun ammo at least like there oh that's 40 i guess i don't know i'm not keeping track if i kept track better i'd have enough room for that healing spray but i am hurt one green herb would do it and i could have many more okay well you know what well, i'm just gonna take the risk Okay, Carlos, you're gonna have to hold on because I got to make like three trips through this zombie hall. Or I could like reload it and then do it all in one shot. But you know what? Let's uh be a little risk taker here. Oh, no, yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with Nemesis anyways. No, oh, that's fine. Let's we'll fight him. Although I'm down a full heal that I could have had. Stars. All right. Yeah, I'll be out there to fight him, and if he kills me, we'll just come back and uh, do it a little bit more efficiently. <laughs> but, uh, this isn't looking good right now. I did things in a bad order. And, uh, honestly don't want to save now because of it, because I could get the same thing done much more quickly.
Ooh, that's painful. Well, I guess I could just run upstairs and try to get that health again. And as he follows me, maybe he'll uh have a tough time. But there's still some shotgun shells I need to. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I, maybe he won't even be able to touch me. Lead him upstairs and help him kill the zombies. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea too. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, I just had to remember where I'm headed. Because there's uh there's something I need here. I'm gonna have to cross by the nemesis a few times and be very rude. Where is it? Yes. God, well, you know what? I guess I'll just have to use this now. That's fine. I didn't think ahead. That'll get me some much needed shotgun shells. That's good. And you know what? He ain't going nowhere. Stars. <laughs> okay, I'm not so worried about him right now. As long as I run away anyways. As long as there's a, a door between him and me. It ain't so bad. He's going to clobber me the minute I walk out of here though because I said that. All right. I just need to borrow the reloading tool for a second here. So six magnum rounds, seven shot. Well, sorry, uh, 16 shotgun shells and a whole bunch of handgun ammo. That should be enough to take him down, probably. But I really would like that uh, health, right? So. Let's make a crazy run upstairs. Just run away. No, I'm fighting this guy, but. Not here, not yet. Stop. Goodbye. Hey, Logan. Good to see you. I've been doing good. Hope you've been doing good too. It's good to see you again. Oh, look, the zombies are just. He's going to be around the corner, isn't he? Yeah, there. Nope. Ah, well, it's fine, I guess. Punch the zombies. Oh, no. They're working together. Ah, Morris Nightmare. So, uh, that, that didn't work out too good. That's okay though. I know I know how the rooms reorganized there now. I kind of like that. Like it goes through a lot of transformations over a few seconds, and it's all after you get the stars key, right? So I figure. Ah, oh, jeez. Need the stars key. I'm trying to get the best order. I think I actually had a pretty good order down, but I didn't like have enough inventory room. So I just need to leave my inventory open, approach this with the correct order. Then I can fight the nemesis with the magnum rounds, the shotgun shells. And it probably won't be nearly as uh, painful as it was. And I guess I'll be bringing back more ink ribbons because why not? They're not the worst thing to have. Yeah, all right. Caitlin says it's weird on Nimbus. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I should have. I forgot about that. That zombie. I hate that zombie. Anyways, uh, Caitlin. As you know, it's weird how Nemesis is considered an intelligent being, but all I can say is stars. Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. I, I just fucked this up. I completely fucked this up. Let me just reset and reload. What I just did was monumentally stupid. Why even waste the time? Let's just go back and do it the correct way. I think Nemesis is uh, smart because he has thumbs. That's usually the measure of worth. I don't think he's piloting the body, though. I think it's like a big parasite in his belly or something. Anyways, we're back here. I'm putting away a few things. And then we're going to go out. And we're going to get those shotgun shells that are really easy to get a hold of. 
And then we're gonna get the rest and come back and find Nemesis. But I'm gonna keep my pockets empty this time. So I don't have to deal with any crazy stuff. And you know what? I'm gonna get the handgun out and probably just kill this one zombie because getting bit's not the worst thing, but she's just at a awful place. There we go, it's better. OCD says, only reason Nemesis killed Brad is because he's yelling. Nemesis is clearly trying to high-five him. That's just like Brad. Brad. Okay. You know, I can still have these ink ribbons, too. I was thinking about leaving them. But considering how saves literally saved me, I'm good. Don't need the stars card. There's probably something past those zombies, but considering I don't want to waste any shotgun ammo and I think going through a lot of my handgun ammo could be detrimental. I'm not touching it for now. They can just be zombies. Besides, room's going to get reconfigured anyway, so anything I kill in there is just going to get respawned, right? So the idea of shooting zombies is actually kind of unappealing right now just because of that. How many tries did it take on the first RE3 stream to beat Nemesis? Jeez. Like at least 20. Took me a while to figure it out. He's uh, right-handed. It also took me a minute to figure out that being choked is actually a good thing in some cases. Weird, I know. Okay, so we'll get the lock pick and then the magnum. So we'd only have room for one more thing, but we don't need to bring one more thing because if we get eight to death here, it kind of sucks. But this would be a pivotal point where that mean old nemesis shows up. So just to, just to slow down on a little bit of the repetition. I'll pop an ink ribbon. Why not? I got more than I'll need. They always give you more than you need. It's just there to scare you or grate you, you know, on how many times you saved. So no big deal. Okay, let's go get the stars key, which will be easy. Run back. Oh, and then I want to get the shotgun shells out of the, uh, evidence room. Then I fight the nemesis. I guess I could have saved earlier. I don't know. Could have saved later, I meant. Eh, it doesn't matter. I just, I just want to kill him again. I want to get the eagle gun. The eagle gun would be nice. It would help me out. I die a lot. The weak person needs the boost. Yeah, I'm good. No pad zombie. You gotta admit, that was a pretty good dodge there. I could barely see where Jill was. I was just like, I think... I think I see him. <laughs> Damn. Emblem key used. Throw it away. I wonder if it's after you pick up the lock pick. Either way, I gotta pick it all up. And we're gonna get a first uh, aid spray out of this instead of nothing, so... That's pretty good, too. Sadly, I think RNG is going to give me the Magnum every time because I don't think you can manipulate that from here. I think that's chosen the minute you start the game up, right? That's okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything. Just grab the handgun ammo move forward.
Oh yeah, Carlos. <laughs> Almost forgot. Call him back, so it don't matter. Yeah. This will work. Probably. I don't know if I'm going to get all the other Nemesis skills, but I at least want to put the gun together. That's not a bad goal. And there's Nemesis. In fact, I can put down the controller if I remember right. He's, he doesn't even jump through just immediately. You want to listen to Nemesis' theme a little bit? It's a good one. They had a really good way of building tension in this game. Save again, says Raw Music. I think you're right, probably. <laughs> considering I made that run clean and I'm probably gonna want more than nine shotgun shells yeah hey nemesis <laughs> there you go he's allergic to photochemicals Okay, okay. I can't carry every... Ah, shit. Shit, shit. If I want to carry all my healing, I got to put away the lockpick to get the shotgun... Sh yeah, okay. There's a way I can get the shotgun shells and fight them at full health. This would be the most pivotal point to save. I hate to constantly save, but eh, they'll give me more. Yeah, old neighbor. Later on, we can get the uh, Terminator shotgun, and I'd be happy to get that if possible. The log pig is no well no that because it's just oh no it's gunpowder that's right so i have to make a run back here anyways so actually what i want to do is slip out the reloading tool uh all right well i got this it's it's fine yeah lever action type arnon arnifrin sorry Focused on them, they got turn and run, and then go this way, and then go this way, and hopefully he doesn't follow me in here. I think he could follow you in here. You got dropped five times, jeez. Well, if I'm real scooty about it, maybe I can get back into the save room one last time and get the handgun just in case. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't think the handgun's going to be what changes the uh, game here, but I'll also be able to get that green herb too. And that increases our chances of actually getting through that significantly. I've only had a red herb to go with it. I won't be needing the lockpick though. Well, that's good. We can probably rearrange this and make it nicer too. Yeah, that's good.
Gosh, I hardly know what to open up with. I say open up with the Magnum because the shotgun will probably... I don't know. You know, the, I guess it wouldn't matter, would it? Let's get him. Bucknut says on the seventh time he gets the infinite ammo. Yeah, I bet. Stop. I would like that too. Oh, no dodge. Stars. Oh, and I got hit by the rocket. You know what? I'm just unloading on him. Oh no, I died. <laughs> okay, okay. My first encounter the rocket launcher up at close range. I'm pretty sure you can just gun him down though. I didn't even use my health and that was a lot of damage with the magnum, I think. Thankfully, there's that other save we got, so that's not going to be too big of a deal. And I guess next time we'll just run in. If I get to the point where I'm hurt too much, I can just run into the safe room, grab a herb, and run out, right? So, no time loss. I think we can get him. I got to figure him out again, though, because now he's got another tool. They really throw him at you hard. Oh, yeah, I'll have to come back here anyways. Not healing I need, so those extra shotgun shells. And those actually are kind of important, so... Yeah, all right. It won't be so hard. Running away from them here, no big deal. The doors are close together. Save room's right there. Easy. I just gotta try to not get hit by his rocket launcher so hard. That's the main thing. Hello, stupid. Good to see you. Well, you know, if I beat him six times, I guess I beat him seven times, fuck no, but we'll see how that goes. Round two, Bruno. We got the Eagle Parts A, and that's good. But I want more. I am on hard mode, but I think I'd have to beat the game a second time for that to work, right? Stars. Ah, damn it. <laughs> oh, man. That damage is no joke. I'm just gonna try to gun him down now. those gun parts and give them to me now well that that was a lot faster than the last one huh 
I don't know why he missed his shot there. I guess that's if I was supposed to... I don't know. If he's standing near the stairwell, apparently he just shoots up once in a while, so... Put that into the book of guides or whatever. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Of course, I lost all my healing items. Kinda hate that, but... On the plus side... New gun. And two handguns, so actually... I got a lot of... Well, I got like an emergency handgun in case I run empty, I guess. There's that. Or I could use it up first or are those zombies or whatever back there. I don't know. I'm saving, first of all. I think that might be a good idea. Thankfully, I found those three extra ink ribbons, so I don't feel too bad about wasting them. I'll just have to be a little bit more, uh... daring next time. So what's the damage across the board? I have no more magnum ammo and very little shotgun ammo. I have plenty of handgun ammo and a shiny new handgun to use. So, you know, though I went through all my magnum and I went through all my shotgun ammo, ultimately I got a handgun ammo and the Eagle 6.0. And I think that's a good thing. I probably need the gem. I think I need the lockpick first and foremost, though. You know, what I need to do is reorganize this so I don't get confused. Knife shouldn't be the default. Reloading tool should be the default. Put the knife like up here, in the weapons category. And ink ribbons go near. Uh, Yeah, over here. Then I'll find a place to put health when I own some anyways, because I don't own any right now. And I guess while I'm at it, I'll just put the other handgun up since... Probably not going to get a whole lot of use out of it, but who knows? I might run out of other ammo otherwise. It's possible. Did I check the lock for items? Oh, the locker in here? Fuck not. I checked this. Yeah, it had some gunpowder in it. It was nice. Happy to have it. Yeah, random guy. This one has a creepier atmosphere than the remake. Makes more of an action game. That's fine, though. It's just... Yeah, I get why people prefer this one more now. It's... It's just better. Let's go say out of those zombies again. With the new gun. Still got a lot of ammo left. Yeah, that's doing good damage. So what's so what's so great back here? Okay, red herbs are pretty great, and two of them's even greater, so maybe that's a good thing in the long run. I can stash those. Oh, I thought the zombie bodies disappeared. That freaked me out for a second. Yeah, I put them down pretty efficiently, and we got one head splatter. So that's a uh, I don't know if that was an equivalent exchange for bullets for health, but it was fun. It was nice shooting something that had didn't have the upper hand on me for once, you know what I mean? <laughs> the zombies sound like old men. Yeah, kind of. You think they just went to an old folks home? just like recorded people when they weren't looking and said ah the best zombie noises come from here OCDE says Deagle every eighth shot is magnum strength or one eighth chance of it being that strong ooh no wonder it's so good 
I'd say we came out of this pretty nicely. I'm kind of disappointed with, I used up all my health. That's sticking with me, but hey. I think we're done with the RPD for now. So that's something. Let's get out of here. I'm doing good, David. Thank you for asking, I think. I don't know if I can decipher your message, but I think you're asking me how I'm doing. I'm doing good. I was going to skip RE3 tonight, but then I was like, man, I, I put all that time into fight Nemesis. Do I really want to risk, like, forgetting how to do that, right? No, I don't want to forget that. So here we are. Hey, zombie. I don't think there's anything I want. Ah, you got me. Take his head off. Well, we were done with that area. Yeah, one last look's not bad, right? Goodbye, RPD. So basically, what happens in Resident Evil 3 happens before Resident Evil 2, right? So Leon went through this door in Resident Evil 2, and we found Kenneth fatally wounded and took his clipboard. So the only reasonable conclusion is that Kenneth, after being fatally wounded, got up and took the nails off all these doors and then locked himself in this room or something it makes no sense but you know hey it's all right Ooh. i guess they can't do hd touch up on some of this because yeah maybe or maybe it failed maybe that's my fault that's meant to look sharper well that's fine choose to fight nemesis you'll face him 12 times before his final boss form that's pretty cool brad's corpse is gone oh whoa okay i'm happy for brad he's become a zombie uh canonically zombie brad wanders past these cones and down there and back around and can't get over so he disassembles the barricade as a zombie and then if you run there really quick as leon and claire you get a costume key. Is hiding clothes that are perfect fits for Leon and Claire. And finally achieved gainful employment. Yeah. Yeah. He did. I do have everything I need, right? Okay. I was about to say, I brought I did bring the lock pick, yeah. Cause there was a simple lock back here that I remember. It's a roach thing. Oh. Oh yeah, I don't have any health, so I either need to run away or kill things immediately, I think. It's a fire hydrant. It's fixed with bolts. I need a tool. Oh man, blue herbs just what I needed. What do you got? Yeah, gunpowder, I'll take it. Oh shit. 
Oh my god, the dodge the dodging does work sometimes though. I gotta say that. <laughs> Oh, I wasted like four rounds there. Thought I could like tag them before they got up, but you gotta wait on the dogs. You charging a battery? Will I take the power. Yes, I will take the power cable. That's probably really important. Nothing suspicious about this parked car except for all the dead dogs under it. But that's not what I'm here to solve. And blue herbs just to use. No, I don't need to use them. You don't like how they changed Jill's outfit in the remake? I just wish they kept more of the uh, city and a few of the uh, beats the game took. It feels bad that they had to cut some things out. We got some save stuff there, so we were fine to save all that time. I got all sorts of red and <laughs> red and blue stuff, and that's great. I'm happy for that, but uh, otherwise, I could want for some more. I probably ought to make some shotgun ammo, right? But it would be way smarter to make the ammo after I save rather than before I save. That way I don't lose out so much in case I have a change of heart. Maybe want to make some magnum ammo, which will take three C type uh, gunpowder. So that's the equivalent of like 20 shotgun shells and, and like, uh, uh, it's a lot. The Magnum's expensive. But you saw what it did to the Nemesis earlier. That was pretty good. I still think the grenade launcher is the better deal. So, kind of bummed on the grenade launcher. But what are you going to do? I got the Magnum. Going to make a mixed herb? Not with uh, blue and red, I don't think. It's like it wouldn't amplify anything. It'd be cool if you could mix a blue and a red and get some healing out of it. But I don't think that's how that works at all. Yeah, I did play the remake, Tetra. The remake was okay, just was missing a lot of things. I didn't hate it like some people do, but also, in addition to that, I don't blame them for hating it either. I'm not like, how could you possibly dislike it? And I kind of get it. I mean, it'd be like if they remade Castlevania Symphony of the Night and they didn't have like the reverse part of the Dracula castle, right? You'd be like, well, I'm glad that they made 75% of the game and remade it, but it would have been really cool if they remade 100%. See, so, you know, I can't, I don't want to sound ungrateful, right? Like they remade the game. That's still pretty good. It's not bad. It's just, well, they fell short of expectations in some places. More ammo you craft, the more you get. Oh yeah, you're right, o OCDE. We'll have to try to make some magnum ammo, but I got a feeling a few shotgun shells here ain't gonna hurt, so. I guess this is good for now. It's not like I got any healing. Yeah, OCDE, the, the money used on resistance was a mistake. Hey, dogs. Running with the big Joe now. You know what sucks about resistance, OCDE? It has all these good assets and a lot of good programming as far as like where the camera goes and like the animations for attacks and all that. But then the design's really terrible. I bet if they went over resistance and just like 
redesigned the gameplay and made it a little bit more action like psh, you know action shooty people would flock to that I want to see that more in games when like a multiplayer game fails they need to do the Fortnite thing more often and go okay so you hate it in a multiplayer game we'll just we'll just completely change it and remake it into something different <laughs> whatever whatever you want that'd be good it'd be better than having a multiplayer game that nobody really wants right now Mason I am looking forward to the RE4 VR release you know since we're asking questions let's put up a poll I'm putting together a poll just a second Oh god, I'm trying to think of a fourth option and it's crunching my brain. My apologies, give me a second. Uh uh Yeah, okay, this'll do. Which one of these Resident Evil games do you like the most? Code Veronica, Outbreak, Revelations, or Resident Evil 5? I'm asking for those four in specific because I know that they are the least liked. Maybe not the least liked, but at least like the least liked out of the main series that most people accept is like, you know, what Resident Evil 1 through whatever. Maybe I should have put Resident Evil 0 in there, but that one's so easy to hate. I feel like it's unfair. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, damn, 14 votes already. Code Veronica is almost edging out Resident Evil 5 that it just matched with at 33%, so it's half and half between Veronica and Outbreak with RE5 pulling ahead. Yeah, I threw in, like, Happy Bait instead of Hate Bait. If I put in RE0, that one would have got, like, completely ignored. But, you know, having to choose between Veronica and Five and Revelations. Some people like Revelations. Not for me, but I'm interested to see how many people did. If you even had a chance to play it, yeah. If you've only played one of them, that's fine. I mean, that's an honest answer. I played this one. It's the one I like. That's fair. OCDE says Outbreak 5 was mediocre and Veronica was meh. Can't remember how Revelations was. Revelations has like a FOV of 60 and it makes me want to barf. I am excited for the VR Resident Evil game. Sorry, whoever asked that earlier. That's what spurred me to make the poll. I forgot who asked that. They're like, hey, are you excited about that VR Resident Evil 4? I am. I'm going to try that when it comes out. Resident Evil 4 is a good formula for an action game. So do good for VR. You don't have to move too much, right? Might be one of the few action games on VR that wouldn't make you motion six. And Leon just kind of moves like a regular person. We'll see. What about Gun Survivor? OCDE, I got an LCD light gun on the way, and I really want to play Dead Aim 2. I know that's stupid. Hell, Gun Survivor as well. But the reason is, is that those games are bad, and I won't deny it, right? But hear me out. With a light gun, they're a little bit more fun. Not, not enough to make them, like, <laughs> must-haves. They're like, hey, you should take this seriously, but... When you play them with a light gun, kind of like how some of them were designed to be played, they become significantly more fun. Although, you know, imperfect, still fun. Imagine like a really clumsy version of House of the Dead where you can move the character yourself. Just that, you know, simple. But that's just my opinion. I am a whore for light gun games. I love light gun games, so... Let's see it. 
Eric Jennings with five bucks says, can't tell if I'm pooping blood or if it's red from eating dragon fruit. Woo, human bodies are random and terrifying. I think I'm okay. Well, if, it, if your shit's red for more than like one day, or if you wipe and it's still red every time you wipe, if you wipe again in six hours, just as a courtesy and it's red, then yeah, it's, then you're not okay. Uh, if it's red blood, like, you know, really, really regular red blood, then it's probably just your rectum. If it's brackish kind of black blood, that's deeper on the inside, and that means your organs are dying, so... I don't know. That's a tough one. Did you make a toilet paper that tests for that? Is it blood? You wipe, and it'll let you know. Damn, 37 votes we got. 41% on Resident Evil 5 etching out code Veronica not by too much but by a bit an outbreak pulling up which I'm happy to see most people don't even know what outbreak is and revelation is being re left behind which kind of confirms my suspicion that I ought to not play those but maybe we'll do them anyways yeah if you're pooping bread tomorrow Eric Jennings go to the doctor Pooping red's bad. I'm gonna keep the poll going though. For fun. I should have looked at the map. It's a cockroach. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna skip you. I'm out of here. If I play Code Veronica, will be the Dreamcast version. Is the PS4 version shitty? Is there something wrong with it? Because I was thinking about doing the PS4 version. But I mean, we, I could probably sort out making a different version of it work. That wouldn't be impossible. Eric Jennings with two bucks says, play all those which have been pulled. I'm, I might. By the way, Eric Jennings, thank you again. You like Revelations, old neighbor? I mean, maybe it's good. I just, I need the, fi I need the camera to be fixed or something. Where do they put all the red herbs and raccoons or the green herbs in this place, huh? I need some green herbs. I will need them now. City Guide. Thanks for a city. Dear citizens, thanks to the kind and generous people of Umbrella Incorporated, this peaceful and friendly city. Or <laughs> this is a peaceful and friendly city. The vast donations from Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work, construction of public utilities, and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as a mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that through many of our donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild a municipal building, create a state-of-the-art hospital. And in honor of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with the grand statue in the same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came... Why would you mention that? The statue rests in the municipal building. Just so you know. I came to this city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledge to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperator. The mayor of the city, Michael Warren. Well, shit. Don't fuck around with Michael Warren. He put together the trains, man. I mean, I might get ate by a zombie at this rate. Kind of hurt. Bruno with 2,500 CLP. 
I don't know what currency that is, but thank you. What's that? Calm down, lady. Ah, it's I'm Carlos. Look out. My name's Carlos. Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Wait! How did he find me? Run into the basement or hide in the kitchen. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I got no health. Uh. Run, Jill. go down like that well there you go you got a nemesis killed tetra and i need health and if carlos will help me then i should fight with carlos but also that means i gotta get there without getting chomped on i gotta play smarter than i did three that's okay though re5 oops i ended the poll my bad well you know what that one was for the loyal ones we'll come up with another poll later unless somebody has a better idea for a poll than what i got i'm open to ideas i'm gonna need the shotgun ammo that's for sure Chilean peso. Well, thank you for the Chilean pesos. I appreciate you very much. Oh. And I hope you're having a good day. Let's see. I keep thinking, like, am I forgetting something? I'm like, yeah, health. <laughs> I'm not, like, in a, in a happy way, more in just a bad way. Well, we got the we got the pistol though. That's the important thing. Now I just gotta not get hit or or hit that save point. Maybe I can make it to that save point if I'm quick. And maybe I, maybe I can avoid getting. Oh nope, he got me. Oh, got me. Are you through classic or three make? Oh man, Flirth, I already know how that pole will end though. You know what I mean? Is it even a poll if we already know the answer? <laughs> yeah, I just had to flip that guy on his back. Okay, no damage taken there. That's good. The dogs aren't so bad. Most of the time, they don't do enough damage for it to even really, like, affect your character. But they can be a pain. How about we check out the street side to the restaurant this time? Maybe there's, like, healing. Oh, hey, look. There he is. Oh, look. Healing. <laughs> Desperately needed healing items. They're just laying over here. If he's good for just ever, I could always just go back to the save room and drop. Make some red or. Ooh, yeah, okay. I mean, he's probably fine. Eh, let's go check, anyways. I can always come back. Hey, look! Resident Evil 4. They're already pitching it. Well, that's funny. A little Easter egg there for you. Yeah, he said scum. Scum is a good thing to call someone. 
I like it. It works. I already read the note. And Jill doesn't feel like drinking any of the condiments today. Maybe I should just shoot him with the handgun now that I got, like, the upgraded one. On the other hand, maybe I can, like, pitch a quick save and do some inventory management. Oh, that sucks. Get away from me. Ah, I hate you. Oh, this place is just crawling with them. Fine, you know, be that way. This is a bad idea. Oh, an even worse idea. Just let me through. I just want to see the save room. That's it. Man, they packed that area. We have to go back. Maybe. I mean, I'm still ahead a little bit, but I mean, what do we got back here really? Was it? Oh, we got a crank that I need, I guess. And a bicycle pump that I don't need. And some beers. Oh, and shotgun shells I do need. So... Eh, maybe this is was a good idea. I just went about it a bad way. Possible. Well, let's try like this, and if it works out like this, then it was the correct thing to do all along. Because if chance to be believed, if we kill Nemesis one more time, I get like a three pack of heals. So, if I take a lot of damage from here on, I can still kind of roll the punches as long as I'm not too stupid. Oh man, I gotta, I definitely gotta kill those zombies on the way out though. I guess I'd have to do that anyways. It's not too big of a deal, but this, that could affect my ability to. Do things the way I want to do them. Rusted crank into the box. What does my map say? I guess I could just abandon Carlos, but it feels like a bad idea. Welcome back, Emily. Oh, Parasite Eve. Yeah, we can do some Parasite Eve. Yeah, all right, we're exterminating zombies because it calls for it. If I can have... Man, I don't like this camera angle. Is he... Oh, hell. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm good. Good. I slip by them, though. Yes, I can. <laughs> They're stupid. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Never mind, we don't have to exterminate him. Hey, Resident Evil player, good to see you. So, any experts in chat? Oops. I'm going to be fighting Nemesis with Carlos. Would you take in the eagle or the shotgun for that? Which weapon would you use? Yeah, I'm thinking Eagle after seeing the Magnum damage on the headshot, but on the other end, the shotgun's good, but with the Eagle, I could at least not get hit all the time and, like, run away, so. Let's so try the Eagle. Like when Bane says clock in, Jill. Yeah. All right, Jill. Form up the, form up the grill. Sleepy Dog Zone says Eagle. Eagle sounds like the correct answer. All right. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. Wait, how did he find me? It's like what Brad said was true or something. 
Oh no, my manager's coming after me. He's going to dock my pay. I didn't have the burgers ready. Carlos, <laughs> who are we going to blame? I don't know. Let's blame Brad. Oh, oh, aim at Nemesis. decided to just phone it in at the end there okay no we could beat him i just gotta like use the eagle more and more faith in the weapon i just unlocked all right all right Resident Evil 3. hey blackman bane jill's an essential worker If I'm gonna get those shotgun shells, then I guess I don't really need to make the other ones. Yeah, but I want the first aid bottle thing, right? Do I get the first aid thing if I like do the kitchen escape? I don't know. I don't even know if you get to fight him if you go to the kitchen. I don't know how that works. How does that work? I need to know how that works before I do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to do the same thing. Except this time, I'm just going to bring in the pistol. We're going to save up on ammo. And it's going to go fine. I only need one shotgun shell to flip open the little bug guy. And it's... Yeah, if it just drops them, that's not... Oh, you get the case if you blow them up. Okay, we'll try to blow them up then. I'm fine with that. I think we could have still beaten them with the guns if we had to, but I mean, I'm all for not doing it the stupid way. Run, Jill. Don't get grabbed by the ghoulie. King Little Caesar, it's going good. All right, so to the kitchen. Oh yeah, if we go this way, we got all the healing herbs and stuff too. Scum. He, he, that guy was scum though. He ain't wrong. Or hide behind Carlos. Yeah, that works out just fine, too. I could go back to that save, but then I gotta run past all those dogs, you know. But the other save, you gotta go past all the zombies. I think I'd still rather go past the zombies. How important is that other route, anyways? The other route doesn't seem like it's gonna be too important for a while. But I bet clearing out this little area will be important since we haven't been to any of that yet. Wait, is there a shiny on the ground there? Or am I losing my... I'm losing my mind. Okay. Kill all the way over there, we get the shotgun rounds. But I don't need the shotgun rounds. The health, though. Combining the herbs, kind of an important thing, actually. Nah, whatever. This will probably work.
Hell yeah. That's great. That's really good. Hey, look, I didn't have to get bit or nothing. Maybe I should shoot my gun more, huh? That might be a half of a good idea. And now we get to go into the fight with two heal. I don't know why I just did what I did. There's no reason to put the green herbs back in there. This kill makes look. Yeah, I said that last night, King Little Caesar. He looks like Chicken McNuggets in a trash bag. I know that's rude, and you shouldn't say that kind of stuff, and he's different from us, and that doesn't mean I can just disrespect his, you know, looks, but. He does look like chicken nuggets in a trash bag. I like the original nemesis over the redesign. I agree. I'd save here, but I mean, getting here is really not too big of a deal. Logan's getting his final knee surgery next month. Well, I hope it goes well, man, because... And surgery's nothing to, uh, you know, take easy, but it's nice that you seem to have a good attitude about it. Not that it's weird to have a good attitude about it. It's just abnormal. I have a good attitude going in too because I'm like, I'm, I better have a good attitude. You know what I mean? So I'm glad to see that you also are a person with a good attitude towards big things like that because that is a good character trait. And I hope you're the best in your surgery. So we're just going to run away to the kitchen this time. Carlos was just waiting for me to go down there. He's a sneaky guy. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos. Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah, we came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. Wait, how did he find me? Da -ba -da -ba. Hide in the kitchen. Over here. You're fired. Are That's you what crazy? you get for shitting Look in the milkshake machine. Both of us. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's free. Okay. You could have killed both of us. Well, you know what? I could have. Thank you, by the way, Burble Drink and Chat, and everybody told me to do this. That was smart. We got a first aid box. Can you reload the first aid box? I hope so. That'd be nice. But now we got uh, five full heals. A little short on shotgun ammo, but not too bad. So, Carlos, what are you doing tonight? Nothing? Okay, well, we'll just go down the ladder then. Just been written. Carlos, why are we down here? Where's my map? Where's my Carlos? There's Carlos. He's gonna wait there. That's okay. It's a freezer. It's a freezer. I don't think I'm meant to be down here yet. I think I need to unflood this. Carlos is flooded. Now our feet are wet. And now the nemesis will hear our squeaky, squeaky shoes. Is this shit? Uh. 
Okay. I guess we're gonna do that. do what I did hey I didn't died Carlos died we I learned my lesson man I like how things can change though I went into the basement and nemesis is like okay I had enough of a nap he came up beat up Carlos so we don't do that right or at least I probably ought to not do that. Since all that is down there is a flooded basement, which raises like a million questions, but I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, and I could just carry the red herbs with me this time. Save me the trip. I don't know why I didn't do that last time. That was not me getting my, I am not Carlos. <laughs> ah, run jail their dogs. Oh yeah, I need my shotgun for the bug. Map. Oh, he's coming for me. <laughs> he's like, ah, he did not want me out. Scum. Fucking raw. Hell yeah. All right, let's get the herbs now. Now I can just combine them here and I don't have to worry about any save room nonsense. I think those things go down in two shotgun shots. Yeah, it sounds about right. I probably could have just outright killed him. Oh well, at least I'm here. I can't wait for Biohazard 4. Well, you know, I read the city guide thing. We'll go ahead and take it, put it in my pocket. Here. So what I really need is like a fuse or something. Cause there's a drain down there that's activated by a big wacky electronic switch. Maybe I had to see that it's wet. Oh no, probably just run away. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. Wait, how did he find me? 
Yeah, random guy played his nemesis in Dead by Daylight. It was great. He's really fun. Over here. You got your time down to two hours thirty using infinite ammo. That's still good. Yeah, speed running these games is crazy though. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. Could have barbecued both of us. I'm an expert chef. Still can't manage that button. Let's just leave then. I need to ask you something. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it. I guess I didn't have to kill all those zombies in that hallway, but it, it really did feel like the smart thing to do. Did I? I think I skipped them this time. Oh yeah, I did. So I saved ammo. Yeah, I got a lot more ammo. Man, shooting all those zombies would have been a stupid thing to do. Go figure. I think we'll put away the first aid box in case of an emergency and just keep like, you know, one of these uh, red herbs here. Red and greens, I'm sorry. So, I can make a C with A and B. And my shotgun's looking a little skimpy. But, I, you know what? Let's just save. Let's save, then worry about mixing ammo after that. We'll see what lays ahead. To kill him again, do I get a third thing? Damn. They're giving me lots of incentive to just constantly fight his ass. <laughs> but I mean, you know, my options for super high damage are low. although the pistol still works good on this form. Hey, 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 guess you got out of jail today. Yeah, I think that's what he probably did say. Ah, shit, I still have the fucking ink ribbons on me. I gotta spin around. Nemesis is gonna be so angry. Oh, man, he almost got me. <laughs> He's so close to just slapping the shit out of me. Okay, so he's gonna be standing at the route where I wanna go. So he's gonna be lining himself up for an easy punch. North Prince with five bucks is caution. Pull up. Oh, we're, we're coming back with Ace Combat. At least Ace Combat 7. Ace Combat 7 was good. Ace Combat 7 was really good. I hope that one stays remembered. Because, I mean, that was literally another Ace Combat game. It didn't, it didn't make any, uh, sacrifices. I guess the story is a little short, but, I mean, whatever. Yeah, OCD, you like the DLC for Ace Combat 7? I never played it. I have it, I love it, but I haven't gotten around to playing it. So I really ought to. I would like to do that. Okay, so... I mean, I could fight Nemesis, but it feels like a dumb... A real dumb idea. But I do got this pistol, so now, now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I do have that save, too. 
wonder. <laughs> You don't think he'll drop anything else? Probably not. You're right. Let's not assume that then. If this was just one gigantic open area I could go to, I would just lure him here and fight him with the pistol forever. But let's just go around. Maybe I'll get lucky won't appear where I want him least. There he is. Herbal says he's only on down stars because they're BTS stands. The, the fucking gall of stars. If he's just blocking this one area, okay, he's not good, okay. If he's just blocking this one door, that I would have kind of been mildly irritated and be like, oh, come on, man. The arcade shops. Sounds like my kind of place. What do we got? Where am I anyway? Okay, I want to go to the newspaper office. me alone I was curious Switchboard, I'll turn on power. It doesn't look like I missed anything. Take the green gym, yeah. It's hoping for a counter there. They always put them right where you can't see them. Photo C. These have been destroyed. Files on bizarre incidents are scattered around. Reporter's memo. At last, I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in this city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal tearing away a new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I've heard rumors that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the causes of the disease is not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I want to check in on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I've lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. 
the military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it's the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I'm infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I've just discovered the <laughs> I've just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. Wear a condom, I guess. Oh. Mr. X kicks ass. I think I like Mr. X more nemesis just a little bit. Sure, he don't talk, but he, he's got other qualities. Make sure I got everything here. Sometimes I can be half blind and not grab a real obvious thing, though. So, oh. Mr. X is Mr. Slave. Hey, you know, that's how you see him. Oh, fuck. So I got a gym. gym is ah sh well it's fine i'll be okay oh yeah i'm sure nemesis would beat the shit out of mr x i just kind of like mr x as a concept like if i wanted to like hire somebody to kill someone i wouldn't hire nemesis because it'd be too obvious but you send in mr x you just like walk right into a jc's pennies and just crush someone's head like a watermelon and slip into the coat racks. At least that's how I see it going down. Maybe I'm the crazy one. I don't know. Blue gym. Oh, that's enough gems. I really don't remember. That's okay. I'll make it. Is he just out of here? Is he gonna bitch slap me? I better be ready to turn left no matter what. Okay, no, he's not. Stop guarding this thing. You can't stop me from going to City Hall to complain about you. stuck and it won't open what does the map say we can either go to trolley or go to gas station but i don't have a key for the gas station so i guess i better go to the trolley
Ooh, G2 Birkin. G2 Birkin might beat up Nemesis. That is a fair opinion. Oh, you're a strong little guy, aren't you? Damn. Yeah, run ah! Well, I almost got away scot free. Well, if the nemesis is holding a railgun instead of a rocket launcher, then you'd have to dodge it faster. That's for sure. What a Mr. X like. What if Mr. X like wasn't wearing a protective cup and you could just shoot him in the balls with a shotgun and watch him just howl on the ground for 30 minutes? That'd be pretty fun. I think that should be a combat feature. Yeah, I'm going to trolley. Trolley's good. wanted to save the barrel but i guess the dogs are dead and that's cool in its own way oh that one's on fire yeah nemesis can use a rocket launcher Mr. X could just walk around. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. Hey, Paul. You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Now you're wounded, dumbass. Anyways, you wounded too? We got a lot in common. Come to Raccoon oh, City a lot? This looks bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. Fire. Stick together. Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. Welcome to the pain train where everybody's gone insane. Okay, what am I doing again? I think I need to fix a trolley. Oh, look, there's a shadow. Who's that shadow belong to? No, don't come any closer. Stay away. Oh, that's his shadow. He's so sick, even his shadow's tired of him. OCD says he knows to sing the happy birthday song out loud so while Jill, washing his hands and clean the program out of time. Out. It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Hmm, fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. People, Jill, it's just put us this two. On. A t-shirt? What are you trying to tell me, Carlos? Oh, I'm 
inventory upgrade. That's good. I will take the wrench, because you know what? I remember a certain fire hose that needs to be stolen. We'll maintain control room. Well, that's good. Mechanics memo. I know you're... <laughs> I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages... You see, these carriages were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they're simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember, if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you better find something that works good enough, even with regards to oil. You must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Kevin, the train loves you. Trains are the only thing on the world that can love you. The world's an empty fucking black void, Kevin. But trains are there. All right, that's a really weird memo. But we need oil. Which it looks like it needs two parts. We need a fuse, which appears to just be one part. Oh, and a cable. But we have a power cable. I know where to get that. Oh, it's good luck, Mikhail, or whatever. Well, Eric Wolf, a man has to have something. Choo. What? Oh, no! What? Why? Why? Oh, well, that happened. We wasted a bullet and blew up a barrel. Blew up all the barrels. That sucks. Okay, uh, there ain't no going back either. So wait, I guess I'm going to the gas station. Oh, no, no, no. I gotta go back to like the regular city. I could go to the gas station. Uh, it's possible, but I don't have the key or nothing. So I gotta... I gotta go back to the part of the city where... The fire hose was. Get the fire hose. Put up the fire where the road divides. All right, no problem. We just got to go back. I'm sure that won't be an issue. The crank to get in the gas station. Well, thank you, OCDE, because otherwise I would have ran back. Okay, well, we can do the gas station, too. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you, OCDE. You just saved me probably like 30 minutes, unless I die here. Hey, zombie.
Yeah, the zombie wasn't dead yet, but we got out. Could have been done more efficiently. We can run straight back to the save room back up. Okay, yeah, it works. Maybe if we do that before we do uh the run back to the Hey zombies. Arnifrim with 10 bucks says I just won at Final Fantasy XV car in Forza Horizon 4 for under a million. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Forza. That's a good game. I'm no good at racing games. But I can understand how getting a unlock like that feels great. I'm using the shotgun. No, wait, two, two rounds? Just enough to. Yeah. Yeah, it's smarter to use the pistol. Well, they're not all dead. We're getting there. Thank you again, Arnifrin. And congratulations on getting what I assume is a rare vehicle. Kind of running low on ammo now. Oh, hey, health. Okay, it's kind of worth it. This thing. Well, we can remember that there's one over here and if I got a red in the bank, I can bring it up here and make the run a little bit more efficient. But hey, we get three instead of two and we're at fine status now, so that's good. What's the scariest game that I played? Asked that one random guy. Ah, scariest. You know, like if we're just gonna go for like outright accomplishing horror effectively, I'd say Until Dawn was really good. Uh, but I know it's kind of cheating because it's like a movie, right? But it accomplished its horror theme with the Wendigos and all that really effectively, and it did did it efficiently. Didn't waste your time. That was nice. Oh, shoot. Kind of low on ammo. I could bring the dummy handgun out. Use that, but, uh... Let's say we run to the gas station. Maybe I ought to make some ammo, though. Tough to say. I haven't saved in a while. I'll pop a save. I'll, worry. I'll pop a save, run without ammo, then we'll worry about that later. Eric Jennings with five bucks says you should try to arrange a Dungeons and Dragons stream one day. Like overall 20, not the new game. The D&D video games usually seem kind of lame. I'd like to do Dungeons and Dragons. Maybe I could get Dot to do something small. But I think if we were doing a, a Dungeons and Dragons thing, it would need to be very tiny. Because, you know, doing a campaign that is like, you know, two weeks long something like that as fun as it would be it would also be probably an uh, unreasonable use of time take up a lot of time not that i'm opposed to it it's just hard to get everybody together for something like that you know what Dungeons and Dragons really needs if it wants to get more players? It needs like a, a quick version of it. Like something that's Dungeons and Dragons, but it's as easy to do a pickup game of it as you do like Blackjack or Uno even. Try to pass like the Uno. And that's why the Pokemon cards and Magic the Gathering were so like, you know, popular and all that. Because, you know, you get... Granted, you had an investment compared to Dungeons and Dragons, but you could just play it immediately, right? You didn't have to get the crew together and then, you know, plan out a six hour session and make sure everybody's feeling up for it and actually having, you know, way harder when you got a job too. Easier when it's just you and your friends in high school, but when you're working, I did not go to the gas station. At least there's no enemies here. 
That's just my opinion on that, though. I need, like, some kind of quick thing. And they can't really make, you know, true Dungeons and Dragons in a video game. Oh, hey, zombies. You're here to stop me from getting to the gas station. You're too late. I took a green herb. I feel great. Oh, we can do the evil with then. I prefer to do the evil with then too, though, because it just it generally plays better. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Rush to crank. Oh, f okay. Oh, yeah. The wrench is, has multiple uses. Bonds. No trucks. Man, I'm, I'm running real low on ammo, so I hope there's ammo in here. I may have uh, either screwed up or I might just have barely what I need to get by. Oh, hey, look, a bunch of gunpowders. I'm glad I had the wrench with me. Jill. Oh, hey, Carlos. Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? They're having a monster mash. It's a graveyard smash. Jill! What's wrong? They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Got a machine gun, he's fine. Uh, you know what? Actually, I will not take the first aid spray. Yeah, let's go see what Carlos is up to. Eat this! Oh, wow, his machine gun sucks. Carlos! Oh, red herbs. No! Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. You just shot the gun. Guns all the time, Carlos. Okay. I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Kinda gotta combine those. And if we got red herbs there, I'm take they're coming home with Papa. So, uh, I mean, I might have to run back, but if I have to run back, I'll just be able to make ammo probably. I don't know. Let's see, I might just combine them all into one giant handgun box. We got a first aid spray right there. probably like a key item or something I need from here which I probably don't want to have to run back to a whole bunch of times I guess I'll figure that out later uh, I'm gonna figure, figure it out now. Okay, there we go. We'll just make a whole like metric ton of handgun ammo out of that big one right there. That'll work just fine. We'll come back for the first aid spray if I need to. I'm gonna try to do this thing. Garza Dragon with five bucks. Thank you, Garza. He asks, any plan for a parasite eavesdream? F you. 
I like to do Parasite Eve. Maybe we'll follow up with some Parasite Eve. It could be fun. I get it now. Uh, okay, I'm good. Hold on. Let's solve this puzzle. Oh, hey, remembered. Oh, my God. I'm a genius. Just got to surround it. Final challenge. Nope, I got it. Okay, machine oil. Yeah, I probably need that too. All right, so I'm leaving that, but I'm going walking away two first aid sprays, and I know that's there in case I need it. I could just drop four handgun bullets, but is it worth it? I don't know. Will I be back here? Probably. Will there be enemies along the way? Maybe. Hard to say. Then again, sometimes you just want something. I'll come to regret that decision, but uh, hold on, I gotta reload. There we go. Let's see if we can get, we can haul all this really cool stuff to the safe room. Oh, it's cool. I'm glad I'm glad I grabbed that. Actually, it looks like we're not coming back here. <laughs> I, Car I guess Carlos just left me here to burn. That's cool. Not stair. We lost the stair station. Hey, crazy banana. Well, we got the uh, first aid spray. That's good. It should take that explosion like a champ. You're not wrong. So, if we can somehow sneak our way back to the save room, that would be nice. I don't think they're going to let us do that. They're going to have at least a few zombies here, right? There we go. <laughs> Wait, do I got room for that? Ooh, I wish I did. I could have combined that. Oh, well. We'll be back there eventually. Now I'm starting to kind of stack up on stuff, although I regret having to mix all of those gunpowder A's. That was probably a mistake. I think I may have leaned in too heavy on health, but... That's fine. I mean, I tend to, I tended to have more of an issue with Nemesis because of a lack of health more than due to a lack of ammo. And also I got this handgun. So like making a whole bunch of handgun ammo act actually something that was going to have to be done no matter what. So that's fine too. Yeah. Thank you, OCDE. I kind of figured making a huge batch of handgun rounds is the way to go. Hope I'm right. 
Feels like I'm right, but I, I don't know, man. If I didn't unlock the Eagle 6.0 for nothing. I was hoping it'd be more than that, actually, but whatever. Hey, 55's not bad. That puts us back at a defensible rate. I guess I could make those extra shotgun shells, and I hate to do it, though. But if I run across any of those, like, Chimera-like dudes, I'm probably not going to be too happy with the pistol's ability to stop them. All right. I hate to do it, but I'm doing it. And we can take the extra and put them away. The shotgun's just to keep them away from me, I feel. It's like, it's, it's my back the fuck off weapon. And it's good for that. But we don't need to carry around all the shells necessarily. Hey, can you reload the first aid box? That's the case. I only have one extra first aid spray. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I have like two first aid. Man, I got a lot of herbs. Oh, <laughs> we can even start throwing in blue herbs for fun. Good. No, I cannot get the grenade launcher this playthrough, Spirit Taker. Oh, like gunpowder is a random spawn. Well, I got lucky then, huh? That's the other thing about this. If you play the game like I am right now, there is no guarantee you're going to get what you uh, are seeing here. I'm going to pop one more save. Surely. Oh, hey, look, there's just shotgun shells. Sh oh, my God. Hold on. I will not use the ribbon. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, there is, there is just seven there. Well, I mean, at least I got ammo now, right? So that's the other way to look at it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what I say? We'll just commit. That's enough shotgun ammo that I could take on some of the bigger enemies I need to have knocked back for or decapitate a few zombies and still have enough left over for Nemesis, and that's a pretty good amount of handgun ammo. I can't complain. Yeah, let's pop a save. Because I'm feeling uneasy now. Now I'm thinking like, huh, did I really do it right though? I would imagine this game more than any of the other Resident Evil games would be the easiest one to, like, drive yourself into a hole that you can't get out of. But since we got the machine oil and the power cable, I think I just have one more item to get, but, well, you know what? I have no idea. I need to go back to where that fire hose was. Brain hurt. Solve crime. Jill, police. Can't believe I missed those shotgun shells. Those, oh, that's so stupid. I could have used those, you know. Okay, hold on. I'm not taking a left or right. I'm taking a right. Man, that was a good move, huh? Glad I took a right. Grenade launcher is going to be in the power station. I didn't know you get to have the grenade launcher if you get the magnum. Okay, there's probably going to be bug dudes over here. Fuck, a wasted ammo. You know, just run. 
I was hoping she would be facing him and I could like knock him down, but you know. It's a wasted shell. Also out of my way too. Hell yeah, box. I guess I didn't have to do that other save, but that all could have gone terribly wrong. I think we'll keep that other save rolling just as a lesson to myself to not be so wasteful and skittish with my shotgun. That yeah, works. Uh, I don't think I need anything else though, so I'm just gonna reload my gun and move forward. It's a missing some. You know, it's a lot easier for me to overlook an item now that these are all high-res backgrounds, or at least high-res compared to the old ones. I wanna get an argument over what high-res is. Oh God, please. I'd have GameStop customers that would bait me into arguments like that. And it always made me so angry. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to argue about what, what QHD is versus super HD and ultra HD. Oh man. I can do It has 12 teraflops. That's the teraflops, man. I'm good. Don't need it. Hey, I got a teraflop for your mother right here. <laughs> that was my response. Don't get me wrong. I love video games and computer stuff. I'm a huge nerd when it comes to that, but come on, man. <laughs> There's a limit. You know, I think... Nah, nah, nah. The fire hose is right here. Yeah, all right. Use the wrench. Okay, I'm doing good. Purple Drink that says, did a quick search. Apparently, Matango isn't that good. You know, you never know. Just discard the wrench. She just knows she doesn't need no more wrench. In a survival situation, I would keep the wrench. They got how many, like, fences and doors and stuff you could get through that would otherwise be inaccessible due to locks. Okay, I got the hose. And then I... Oh, I go all the way back. Okay. Watch out for cockroach. Luckily, they seem to be pretty ineffectual when they're up on the wall, so you can just run by them. I guess I could have blown them up, but I mean... Eh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it looked like there was an item back there, though. But I don't have, like, you know, a big thumper. I guess I could use a shotgun on him, but, you know, give me a chance to just skip him entirely. I'm going to take it. Now, should I save? Kind of hate to save, but that sure was a slick entrance, though. I, like, I, I slipped right through there, like, the stealthiest person in the world. So I'm going to save again because I'm a baby. That'll give me more, right? If they don't, I guess I could always just go back and play through and be like, okay, I'll just, I'll just do it in one run and we'll go back. But you know, I doubt it's going to come to that. They'll give me another one. They'll probably give you like what? 30 ink ribbons, 28 ink ribbons total. Or this could just be my last one. The game's just about to laugh at me and be like, ha ha, you save there? You fucking baby. What's wrong with you? These are all possibilities, but I got a fire to put out. Probably a dumb place to save. I uh, think about it. I figure I gotta do something important back there though. Oh yeah, it doesn't even tell you that you dropped the fire hose. This game is like, come on, man. You don't need this anymore. 
you can make a grapple hook. Herbs, cops upstairs. Ooh. Well, actually, yeah, I'll just hold on to it. You know what? I'll take them both. I got a feeling I'm going to have more of these than I need by the end of this, though. Those cops are guaranteed to jump out of the window if I wait too long. Uh, not getting the chance to do that so quickly. Man, I heard something that wasn't a normal zombie noise. Yep, yeah, it's a cockroach. All right, you get the shot to gun. Okay, it's two. Map say, Bill's office, right there. Ah! What was that, Jill? That's not aiming at the monster. That's not aiming at the monster at all. Oh, well, <laughs> she's aiming at the bomb. Oh. Well. <laughs> it took me a while to realize that that was a bomb to begin with. I was like, is that another fire hydrant thing? <laughs> okay, well, you know, that one's on me, I guess. <laughs> now the game's just gonna goof on me very funny see it was a good thing i saved though i could have never predicted that's how it was gonna go you could have asked me how all the ways i thought that was gonna end that wouldn't have been it you know what it's time for another poll let's see we're in a save room and the music kicks ass let me use my my giant brains think of a poll that will entice you to want to give your opinion to make sure your opinions and thoughts are heard perfect question what's your favorite first person resident evil resident evil 7 resident evil 8 resident evil dead aim or resident evil survivor oh let me know i'm gonna grab a drink because i'm parched we'll be right back and hopefully we won't blow up jill again although it was funny to see oh and have a good night little munch appreciate you waiting right now resident evil 8 is winning at 58 percent nobody likes dead aim one guy i think likes survivor and resident evil 7 bringing 37 percent personally i liked seven more than eight but eight's still really good oh i understand 
We'll come back to the poll in a minute and see what the final tally is. OCD, I did see the RE8 public commercials. They're fucking adorable. You know what? Fuck it. Put in your vote now because I'm going to change the vote. No, you all write it down. We'll keep this up for a minute, but I got the next vote. I'm going to go ahead and write that down, though. Again. Give me a second. If I want to do this right, I got to Aw, oh, damn. Almost there. We're going to get back to the game in a second, but it's going to be a good one the next one, I promise. Why did, look, I'm just looking up the names for certain characters, right? And the, the the wiki has ads on it that keep popping up in front of their names, and it's driving me crazy. And you know what? Okay, I found them. Boom. Okay, yeah, we'll get to that next poll in a minute. So let's see where we're we at now. 26 votes. We got Resident Evil 38, Resident Evil 8, 54. Somebody voted Dead Aim. Ooh, that's a hardcore fan right there. Maybe somebody just didn't like 7 and 8. <laughs> One more for Survivor. Survivor wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too good either. Like, you know, on a discount. All right, all right, all right. Sorry for the wait. Let's get back to it. I was trying to blow myself up. That'd be a good idea. I still have the ink ribbon. I'm stupid. I don't mind the same enemies over and over again in Resident Evil 7 because it makes sense for the plot. And also, in most of these games, it is the same enemies over and over again as well. Like Resident Evil 1 had the zombies, the spiders, the hunters, and uh, not a whole lot else. I guess you had the chimeras. It's like maybe one extra type. But it's not a, you know, it's not, you're not wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong, though. There aren't a lot of enemy variety. There isn't a lot of enemy variety. Resident Evil 7. But I think it was fine. I liked it. This is my favorite. I got my reasons for liking it, too. You're not even playing dead aim right if you're not playing with the light gun, Flirth. That's how I see it. If you're not playing the light gun version, then it's just, you know, wasted time. Hello, Dark Shadow. That aim and survivor could get remakes, but the stories are so stupid you wouldn't want one, so 
I guess that's where I disagree. I'd be like, ah, don't remake that. No, I liked it, but <laughs> the story <laughs> pretty bad. Rio Conjunct 69 with 10 bucks says, hello, Helbin. Hope you had an uh, excellent day. <laughs> Took a sip of water. My bad. Rio Conjunct 69 with $10 says, hello, Helbin. Hope you had an excellent day today and are having an awesome evening. Hope all is well with you and enjoy the pennies. Well, $10 is a lot more than pennies. So thank you, Rio. I am having a good day. I hope you're having a good day too, man. I appreciate you very much. Good to see ya. Stupid camera angle. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Not poison, that's the main thing. I'm doing good, Games Ambassador. How are you? Wait. What did you do? I had no choice. He was about to turn into a zombie. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. But he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as dead. And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have if he had transformed. Alright. Business facts. Order sheet liquid medicine VTJ98 is suitable to cultivate the NET type virus. Therefore, we will need to order additional quantities of it. UE6 lab. I just stole your business facts, you dumb fuck. No, no, I'm busy. Okay, he's he's checking his MySpace. I understand. Empty vials. Why? Okay, guest isn't the password. I'm out of here. Review for the quarter or whatever. Manager's report. Before you begin your new position, please allow me to give you some advice. Some of the medicine in the storage room are unstable and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity. Therefore, you must remember to keep the temperature the same in the storage room at all times. You should personally check it every day. Although the computer checks it around the clock, a machine is not perfect. Try and remember that the machine is no more than a tool to be used by people. Ooh, that's, that's really, uh robophobic you know what i mean you must check all personal incoming and uh you must check all personnel coming and going to the storage room any dangerous drugs are stored there if any of them are missing you have a serious problem on your hands the door to the storage room is always locked but when you let the personnel into it you'll need to have them hand in their documents and above all else remember that if you find anything suspicious contact your boss immediately if you forget the password to lock the door Try and remember that it's a word that everyone is familiar with. Don't forget, once a new product is shipped, the password will be updated again. You can always enter the password in the terminal of the PC for administration. Okay, got the manager's report. I will use remote control. What else is on? Sap spread. I guess it's Saf Saf Sprin. Saf Sprin. Saf Sprin. Saf -sprin. 
Yeah, I'm a hacker. Later, King Caesar. Danger. Hmm. Have half a feeling like I ought to take my health, you know. Let's at least have the shotgun out. I will take the oil additive. Oh, that's what I'm here for. shit oh my god jill you're driving me crazy today you know what were you aiming at you're aiming at this you're gonna hurt yourself jill incredible You know, I'm keeping the shotgun out. There's probably just one of them right in here about to bite me the second I come out. That's why I was thinking OCD, but Joel's like, nah, I like going the Yep, here they are. Circus is in town. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm out of here. Good night, Joaquim. Kind of a waste of shotgun ammo, but it sure was fun. What's the point of having it if you're not going to use it? Yeah, Jill, Jill is not doing good tonight, it appears. All right, not too far away. So I'm kind of low on ink ribbon, so I'll probably grab the first aid pack now. <laughs> Wait, Nemesis. Should we spare or kill Nikolai? I didn't know that was a choice, Spirit Taker. Well, I'm healing. But before I do, let's uh, take a look at what I don't have. A, I mean, I guess I got this one ink ribbon. I feel bad spinning it here, though. But maybe that's the point. Combine with the machine oil for mixed oil. I remember this one a little bit. I could fight him, but oh, my, my days fighting old nemesis might be numbered on this particular set. So let's see, I got a uh... what am I missing? I got the power cable, I got the oil, I need the fuse. Oh. 
No reason not to use the first aid. That being said, I have enough health to tank him pretty good. I just don't want to fight him in that one area in specific. We can go back there and do all that we did earlier without too much issue. In fact, it might even be uh, more beneficial to do like that. It might save some shotgun shells. Noah, check out the description to the video. And it has all the information you need over at the Seamless HD Project website. Alright, where's this fuse at? And, uh... What am I gonna do to get at it? I guess, uh, with the crank, I could go back to that one area with the zombies at it at the start of the game, kinda. Right? Which was... Here, here? No, no, part of me still just wants to save too. <laughs> Thinking it over, I'm like, huh. On how long was that area? Was it really that long? It wasn't really too long. I just have to remember the SAF sprint thing and getting through there is pretty quick. So I just got to try to not get my ass beat. Okay. Let's just try to not get our ass beat. We'll take the crank south and that'll probably lead us somewhere that might be progress, I guess. I don't really know. That means I need to exit here, then go up the unburnt trail. Probably right about where Nemesis is standing. Why can't Capcom put the OG games on Steam? No idea. No idea. Oh, never mind. He's just not here. It's good. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not saying that it didn't take any effort to touch it up. This is running off the uh, GameCube version, right? So you couldn't have something like that, but they do have like a functional PC port that was made in like 2008 or 2009, right? Steam was around then, so they made one and just didn't publish it. And that was like, you know, while Steam was a, a, an existing thing that could have been used to sell it. Stars. He's over here. Isn't he? Yep. Okay, block Stars. me then, jerk. I'm getting that thing. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. What do you got for? Oh boy, grenade launcher rounds. Uh, well, it's, I mean, you know what? If I get a grenade launcher at a point, then I'll be happy I got him. the crank would get me in there though all right so it should be in the power station might not be in the power station cool i like the mystery if i remember right this door's locked from the other side or it's blocked off so i can't do that yet. i think nemesis blows it up maybe i don't know take a left we end up through the bar we go up this way basically the start of the game right here i'm not entirely sure what to do
All right, well, you know everything, I guess. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> this is good to see you, buddy. Where am I again? Okay, I'm here. A blockade there, so let's take a right. Ah, oh, shit! I couldn't have known. Well, it's just a bite. I'm not even at low health. Where am I going anyways? I gotta have some sense of direction. I think I just came here for the grenades basically, so... But the gas station's blocked off. And my brain's collapsing in on itself trying to think, uh... Where and how we're gonna... Yeah, oh, hey, Nemesis, good to see you again. Well, I'll just have to guess. I didn't miss anything. On the plus side, I got 18 grenade rounds, which will surely be useful at some point. Not right now, though. All right, and I got one ink ribbon, so popping a save here, not exactly a good idea. Besides, I got three health sprays. It goes, force goes to worse, it should be fine. I think I just need to take a left and exit. Oh, it's back. Oh no, you mean that, th yeah, no, that thing's dead. Go this way. Yeah, grenades, Adventure TV. It's good to see you, man. Hope you're having a good day. Make double sure I know where I'm going. Gas station, right? That's not the gas station, right? Is it? I don't think so. Yeah, it's RPD. I don't need to go. <laughs> That's RPD up there. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I forgot where to go. I think I'm backtracking a bit, but whatever. I might just add a few things to the train if I end up there. Hey, Nemesis. I'm just gonna walk by you, dude. <laughs> Damn. Power stations past City Hall. Honestly, I forget where City Hall is. But here's the post office. Hey, birds. Birds are new. I must be going the right way.
I'm so fast. Who got spooked out of their minds? That was terrifying. Hey, if the Earth's trying to swallow me up, I'm probably headed towards the bad guys, right? They could be champs and throw me another ink ribbon, though. That'd be really, really super neat. Where are we? Oh. Power stations at City Hall. Ah, hell. Well, if it's past City Hall, I don't know if I'm in the right area. Yeah, no, I'd, uh... I'd go that way. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I haven't used these other controls on the map before ever till now. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Substation right side of the map. Okay. Substation. Oh yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Like a battery to get in through there though. So where was the battery be? Because I remember that elevator on Nemesis. Uh, not Nemesis. I'm sorry. Yes, one. I don't know. I'm getting so loopy. I remember some things, not all things, but I do remember we need a battery for that. And we don't currently have that. I guess I should check it out at least. All right. Well, checking it out is something to do. Never run into a bug, I'll splatter it. Then again, the game's RNG, so there's a lot of things I really can't reliably, uh... Hey, hold on. Yeah. Free. I think that helps me get into the substation. I think. I can't go past that, right? So. I gotta figure out where this battery is. That is a question I don't have an answer to. the basement that needs to be drained maybe i gotta fuck around with that i do got cables mayor statue in city hall you know that makes a lot of sense i kind of i kind of let that area slide and that's right over here anyway so we're headed the right direction all right thank you ocde i guess i would have stumbled upon it but man i'm like eh, eh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, free. I appreciate the tip, because yeah, getting lost would be a hell of a thing. Do I need power? I don't think I need the rest of that stuff. But yeah, I guess we get the fuse of the power station. Man. Really, uh, 
It really does suck to get the Magnum from the start, although it did make kill Nemesis kind of easy. I got a feeling grenade launcher would have been a bit better. I am stupid says every day should be International Otter Day. I agree. What a wholesome thought. Sling Blade says I just jerked off so hard I almost got myself in the face. Well, you know, watch out. I had to swap it for future compass. Uh. I'll just have to run around and figure it out. I'm trying to remember, but I think I just need to go over there, figure it out. I got nothing else to do anyways. <laughs> okay. I have to solve the puzzle of the city. It's probably not in the burning building. goes hold on this ain't so bad i know i know where this goes but now i can't remember where it is you know the stupid area with a little water fountain next to it How far back is that little dumb area with the fucking water fountain? Was it near the re it was near the restaurant. I got to go back to the restaurant. Okay. I remember now. Okay. It's fine. Got to go back to the restaurant. I can use this bronze book on that weird water. Th I remember some of it, but I, I can't for life of me always remember where things are located. Now I gotta have a run past these zombies again. So embarrassing. You'll be like, oh, it's you again. I'll be like, yeah. And be like, you didn't do this earlier. And it's like, no, you could have done it earlier though. I'll be like, yeah. Just run through the restaurant probably. Well, that guy made my decision for me. When music that makes you poop starts blasting, you start blasting too. Well, that's a wholesome thought bubble drink, you know. Hey, I'm going the right way, holy. Hey, okay. So, if I remember right, I just plonk that there. And then I steal this. That's the future clock, I think. Then we go back to the old mayor and give him his big fancy disc and we should be good i think maybe if we're lucky i think we'll be fine he has a battery i think pretty sure he's got the battery i can't think what the next puzzle piece between the ah, elevator and uh the future compass would be so i assume we got what we need The imports are RE1, 2, and 3 with HD. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. They'll be portable. I want to see RE1. Run, it's dogs. Ah, orf, orf. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, I would like to see RE1 HD retouched, or at least Resident Evil 1, either or. Because uh, even the HD version kind of looks rough, you know. 
Yep. There we go. Show me your battery. Oh, damn. It's like gold seed times a thousand. Okay, now I got the battery. Okay, all the way back there. Okay. Hey, I know. I know now. I'm smart. Hell yeah, dogs just own that area now. It is like, oh, I'll eat the dead zombies. Whatever. Banana bread with chocolate chips. That sounds ridiculously good. My goodness, that is decadent. Wait a minute. I hope they got a chest past this part. And look at the body. Oh shit. His expression shows insane agony and pain. Insane. Save room like right there. Let's go do that. Surely nothing bad will happen. Yeah, Bruno, uh, I played the Nemesis, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, Mercenaries portion of the game on the PC version, because it came with that unlocked right off the bat, so I'm like, oh, okay, give it a try. And it was pretty good. And I do remember the place where they sent two Nemesis after you. I don't know how you do that as Nikolai and kill everything. I'll have to maybe watch a video, but you know, most of those are segmented, so not exactly something you end up doing yourself, but it's fun to watch. Ah, ah, I tried to do the counter. Loved it. Oh, well. To put everything up yeah okay i was like yeah did i yeah i did it's gonna be like a save room right here and i'm gonna feel dumb for having gotten bit for no good reason but hey part of the fun is not remembering everything you know Oh yeah, some Tonys. Didn't even see him there. Just figured I'd, you know, use. Hey, it's Claire. Oh no, not Claire. Oh fuck, there's more zombies. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight him. That's okay. I don't mind fighting him. Come on then. through that entire box of Tonys that construction worker gave me. Oh man, there's a bomb there. Could blow them all up. Well, I guess if uh, I come by your nemesis is still around, maybe I could use it on him. So that's something I suppose. 
Yeah, Bruno, the new pistol is working great. So a bunch of bugs here, right? Probably keep the shotgun out, but only got six rounds left, so... If it's more than three bugs, I'm gonna have some difficulties. Oh, hell yeah. Inventory looking pretty good. All right, let's grab him. Oh, if I saved all those aids, I could have made magnum ammo, but I would have ne I just wouldn't have had enough handgun bullets. It would have fell apart unless I just, you know, damage boost. I could have damage boosted through everything. That'd have been fine. Let's see, knob won't turn. Operating the transformer. Be sure to set the manual mode. From the short circuiting, don't let it exceed maximum levels. Manual mode. Okay, sure. Transformer supplies power. Push the switch. Okay. So it looks like there's two that I want to reach. Okay, I'm just gonna try red then blue then. blue blue red blue let's try red oh my god oh let's not push the switch let's read a few things ah i just gotta i just gotta figure it out okay one let's know for now let's check this out yeah grab the grenade launcher Then run back to the puzzle. Or use a grenade launcher. Either way is fine, but I'm not retreating. I want I wanna use the electricity thing again. Uh, well, I got the grenade launcher, that's the important thing. I could probably get back in there, right? 
I'll just go back there later. Because I think I still want to use the uh, generator there to unlock the other door. take a look back there maybe I maybe if I run back I can still run in because if this door's unlocked now since she knocked it open not just one there all right let's fight him feeling lucky ah oh, shit I'm not so lucky get away Yes. So I'm not trying to. Okay. <laughs> red. 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 Oh, hell, I got it right. Nothing happened. Oh, yeah, I already did that once. And blue, 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 red. I'll just do that. Let's try red, blue, blue, blue. There we go. Oh, I needed that, yeah. Good thing I stayed. Can't see. Is that medicine? What a free exit. gunpowder i could fill up the shotgun but it almost feels like a waste probably make some like grenade rounds or something but i also only have like uh a single ink ribbon i got one first aid spray and I don't know if you can reload the first aid box. Does anybody know by chance? I'm going to set up a new poll. We figure that out. But with 75 votes, Resident Evil 8 is the winner out of the best first person shooter Resident Evil games. That one's on the book. I'm going to have a new poll for you in just a second. I think you'll like this one. Considering the results of some of these. Getting the poll ready, just give me a second. There we go. Who's your favorite out of the big four in Resident Evil 8? You can restock the first aid box. Thank you, Logan. All right, we got that up. Should be good. Where am I headed? I don't know. 
If I saw Nemesis again here, I'd get near that bomb. Let's see with the fuse. What am I using the fuse? Pretty sure I'm using it on the train, right? But I could have sworn there was another thing where I'd use a fuse. But I think I might be wrong. Well, let's just go to the train anyways. That's the first thought I have anyhow. And the best way to the train is north from here. We'll pass the save room. That'll be all good. There's something in the restaurant, though. Yeah. And yeah, no, 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 no. We need to go to the restaurant, actually. Wonder which way is most dangerous. Hey, Bruno, you're doing good on English. I've understood everything you've written. I think it's just crows. Nothing? If it's nothing, I'm just going to take this way from now on. But I think I can use the fuse in the restaurant to, like, drain the... Okay. Seems to be a switch for the drain. Yeah, I need to use a switch for the drain. I guess fuse doesn't come into play here. Well, at least I know. But now I gotta leave the other way around if I want to skip those zombies. You ready for Sunday? Monster trucks on the 70 inch screen. Barbecue and fireworks all day. Yeah, it's gonna be good. I haven't had anything off the grill in a while. I'll be looking forward to that. It's always fun. I guess we'll just head towards the train. No big deal. It's taking a safer route. Edge for the train. You're right. You're right. That's thing. Oh, I drained that. Get the train running. All right. Once you get the controls down, it it's a very fine controlling game, and I'll you know what I'm gonna heal uh at the save room. They always give you more greens than reds in the end. And if you don't use your greens when you get a chance, it is a little bit of a waste. Oh yeah, there's there's like twelve reasons I should have came here, huh? Well, that, well, fuck, I already got, like, a huge amount of grenade rounds. It makes me wonder why I'd even have the shotgun necessarily. And then again, I, I only have two green herbs here. Eh, whatever. Grilled food does taste good, six so crazy cans. It's good to see you. Purple Drank says he likes Heisenberg because he does machines and he likes machines. You know, Heisenberg was pretty good. Look at the poll. Right now, Lady Demistrescu's winning at 38. Heisenberg with a close 35%. Benavidito with 12. And Salvador Moreau with 15. Personally, I like Moreau. He's funny. But they're all pretty good in their own right. Not 
Now I'm deciding should I like uh pop a save now or not. It almost feels like a bad idea, right? I only got the one ink ribbon left, but I mean how long could they starve me of ink ribbons? Yeah, you know what? I did a lot of fancy stuff. So I'm just gonna save here in case I botch it real hard. It'll be fine. I can add A and B to make G rounds. Yeah, it's true, and I would like to make some grenade rounds. Probably read up on other combinations. I think I can make uh these B is acid rounds, I think. Well, six crazy cats, thank you for stopping by. Always good to see you. I appreciate your help, too. Yeah, I can make some acid rounds. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I probably want to make some acid rounds, right? But freeze rounds are good too. Oh, does that add the C to the G? Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. I could turn those into acid rounds. That's nuts. But does that mean if I make a G, I could turn those 24 into freeze rounds? You know what? How about I save and then try that? Because 24 freeze rounds sounds badass, like a ridiculously good deal. Oh no, I already did save, so I could just reload. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's try that. Damn, crazy cats. That was done with authority. Nice. <laughs> okay, I made six freeze rounds. Freeze rounds are good, though. I like having those. Six is fine. I can leave this. This just counts as like big thumping magnum ammo for me. Leave that there. Next chance I get to fight Nemesis, we'll break those out. Ought to make it a little easier. Ah, uh, shit. So. Two Bs just makes a bigger B, which we could use to make. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to use these up. Unless I want to make a lot of shotgun rounds, which actually I don't. The shotgun sitting at six is kind of good. That's just enough to knock out like a few bugs. I probably don't need to carry all my grenade rounds with me either. All right. Uh, we'll leave the grenade rounds back here too for now, I guess. It might be a bad idea if we find Nemesis again soon, which I, I'm pretty sure we'll find Nemesis again. Nemesis again very soon. But I could make acid rounds. Good idea, actually. Never mind. Do I want to make acid rounds though? You know, it's a good question. I can make a stack of acid rounds, load them into the grenade line. Oh, I do want to make a stack of acid rounds. Okay, hold on. I got an idea. Check this out. But now I load these into here and now we got these back and we got a stack of 18. And we load these into here and boom, 
We got 18 in the grenade launcher. I don't want that actually. I just uh, want a few. Okay, so hear me out. Six acid rounds is a pretty good amount. I don't think I'll need that much more, probably. I, I mean, I'd assume not. I don't know what's coming up next. I got plenty of healing. This seems like a relatively okay setup. Just enough shotgun. If it gets to the point to where, for whatever reason, I need more and we get knocked back. Well, we actually got munitions now. Thanks to that one area with the kids chalk on the ground with the three stacks of grenade rounds. That's a good item stash. I don't see how you could skip that one. I guess I could just load in the regular grenade rounds, though. I mean, I do have more of those. Keep the acid in the pocket, but I mean, I probably want to go through my handgun ammunition anyways. Ah, eh, hard to say. Hard to say. I don't know enough of the game. I forget if I need the lockpick for anything coming up, but I'm going to take it with me just so I don't feel too stupid if I do need it. And yeah, it seems fine. Safety safe. I already saved earlier before I went through all my inventory, so we're good. I'm just overthinking it is the problem. And that was also my last save. I'm out of ink ribbons. It's probably fine. Well, at least the zombie dogs like eating zombies. Stars. Hey. Yeah. Fucking asshole. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I mean, I could fight him. We can go back. You know what? I want to see if we unlock something. Yeah, hold on. Kill me, Nemesis. I want to come back with some freeze rounds and just destroy your ass. You, you just come over here and do the do the finish and blow or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna kill him. But first, I need Jill to die because it, I feel like it would be quicker. Except sometimes Nemesis is like, I can tell you're not trying. You want to go back to a safe, don't you? Yeah, it's true. I do. Our face is a raisin. She's gonna turn into one of them raisin guys that sing the jazz and tell you to buy raisins. That's how the, ne <laughs> the nemesis works. See, I thought once you got the uh, Magnum that you wouldn't get any other weapons, so I'm surprised to see the grenade launcher. So you'd really... Well, I don't know. The grenade launcher is just better. I like the damage of the Magnum, though. I guess it doesn't matter.
kick his ass. You know, let's not waste our good healing though. Let's uh let's bring in the red herbs. Be reasonable about this. I'll I'll do. I don't know. It, it kind of, it's like a game. You know what? I knight the burble drank. Now they have to listen to you, burble drank. So, you know, you get, you get an advantage. You got your girlfriend back, Aiden? Congratulations, dude. Stars. Now don't go mad with power, Burble Drake. Oh. Oh, damn. He was angry that time. He wouldn't have it. Da, da, da. I like the intro. Everybody's like mouth open, like, ah. Uh. Okay, I should have dodged. I just thought freeze rounds, right? Probably stops him in his tracks. No, I, I gotta get a little distance still. That's okay. See, it just means that I was right to save there. If I didn't save there, I would have really regretted it. I did waste a few ink ribbons though, but hey. Yeah, Nemesis is a constant threat. Even though I've beaten him with the pistol, I'm still afraid of him. He's no joke. And yeah, we don't, we don't need no organization. There we go. That should do it. That ain't enough. Then, well, that's just sad. Oh, thank you, Aiden. I appreciate you. Use your powers responsibly, Purple Drink. A life of a moderator. No, I'm kidding. I appreciate the help. If you if you see a message that's like spam, like just zap it. You know what I mean? And I thank you for that because you're doing me the favor. I've heard of some streamer types being shady. Their mods like mods. What are mods? Why are you? It's like, oh come on, man. Unless you're paying people, it's a volunteer job, dude. You should be happy people even want to try to help at all. Can't be like that. Stars. Hey, Nemesis. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It is a narrow hallway, though. Oh, 
I just want to go at him with the pistol now and save the grenades. Oh, that was smart. I saved some grenades. Hey, screw you, buddy. What do we got? Hey, shotgun parts. Acid rounds are like specifically anti-BOW. I don't know if I used the freeze rounds right on old Nemesis. It probably was meant to like shoot then dodge and shoot shoot or something. But hey, that was fine. Take my baby heel pack because I'm sometimes a bit of a puss puss. We'll put these up here with the magnum and other unused gun type things get our trusty lock pick because god knows i'll probably throw something at me that will require it soon This old ass puzzle shit can go down here. Yeah, it seems right. All right, let's go back out. Man, this really is the best one, isn't it? <laughs> the more I play it, I'm like, yeah, this this is a much better Resident Evil. The Nemesis mechanic is way cooler than you know. Mr. X was okay. But when we did Mr. X last time, I really didn't have too much of an issue getting away from him. It was pretty simple. This game, though, the nemesis is just on you. Like, you don't want to be running from him because his sprint is so much faster. But he's got to accelerate, though, right? So you got a chance. They, they were smart about that. Nemesis gets canceled for saying gamer words in a heated gamer moment. Well, you know, he is the bad guy. Yeah, I'm out of here. Fuck you guys. I'm not wasting bullets. And since it's all randomized, you can play it a lot of times and never quite know what's coming up. Uh oh. Well, I'm sure everything's fine. Oh no! Oh. It's a fucking grave digger. I forgot how to fight him. 
Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, I should have. Okay, I got it. Nope, no dodge. Well, it's fine. Yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Now where the hell am I? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'm cool with that. What happens if I check an ear? This is much better than the remake, Cameron. Especially with this little HD touch-up. Damn. Uh, if she could just fall in there again, I'd be so angry. If she's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'd be like, no. Yeah, guy buying the game, you probably could port it to the Switch. That'd be badass. I hear it's coming to mobile platforms or something like that. He is in pain and suffering. Oh, that sucks. I have a puzzle to solve. We have a fuse. We have power cables. And we got delicious juicy oil. It looks like we're ready to go. Oh, hey, Here, Carlos. Oh, hell yeah, I'll take the flare out. Yeah, yeah. Give. Okay. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go. What do you mean, Carlos? <laughs> I guess he's like, yeah, I was ready to betray everybody from the start. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I feel like there is probably something I missed through all this. But whatever. We got the thing running. <laughs> Jill Sandwich is gunning for a world record speed run. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's looking good. Oh, good night, night studio. Put all Mikhail down, I guess. Mikhail! Stars. Okay.
Car, now! Mihail, wait, don't! I beat him up like five Honey. times already. It's not even necessary. Okay, whatever. My shotgun upgrade. Mikhail, you fucked it all up. What's wrong with you, Mikhail? No, the brakes are out. Use the emergency brake. This must be it. I have no idea, Burble Drink. Why is the train giant now? Did I do the right thing? I don't think I did the right thing. And also, I'm in caution because of the train crash. Well, that's good. It's good. Later, six crazy cats. I hope work goes good. Thank you again. Oh shit, birds. Oh shit, health. Hey, you know, YouTube can make sure that you can't say funny words in super chats, but uh, they can't keep a robot out. <laughs> Go figure. I was hoping to find a save room immediately. I've always wanted to reload the, uh, herb thing. I'm sorry, the spray container. Kick ass. Now we'll put this in the box for future big time emergency use. pull out the handgun for fun is there no offering of other oh, maybe is an offering of some good stuff but i'd really like oh damn are you kidding me i was about to say if you're gonna kick me out of here before i can even try to get a damn ink ribbon that's harsh
Hey, yeah, Jared, I'm still alive. And this game, maybe not for long, though. And also, come on, man, no ink ribbons for real. That's just harsh. Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to leave. I mean, I can fight Nemesis again. That's not the worst thing in the world. It's just kind of... Maybe, maybe this is where they get me with the ink ribbons, you know? That makes sense. Let's... Yeah, no ink ribbon. Okay, that's fine. I should be trying to make ammo anyway, so, uh... I could... Try to make as many freeze rounds as possible. Although that leave me kind of short on the handgun ammo. Oh, hey, thank you. I appreciate you, Jared. A verbal drink. I wish my voice was as sharp as my mind. My mind was as sharp as my voice. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out. So we'll take out six, right? So we could make six freeze rounds, but we'd have like no regular grenades left. And we'd be short on a few shotgun rounds. But we do have enough gunpowder to make some shotgun rounds, though. Or I could make one more set of grenades. Don't make the enhanced for my pistol, gotcha. Guess it might not matter until I save anyways, you know. Only thing is, I'm thinking like, do I make some handgun rounds? Maybe I should make some handgun rounds, but then I can't make the grenade rounds I'm looking for, right? I could have a lot of freezing rounds. Or I could have some acid rounds and some more grenade rounds. So I gotta choose like, do I want more grenades total? I think I want more grenades total. All right, all right. Fine with that. So I can take this gunpowder B and make some acid rounds too. I think that's a good idea. I'm gonna go for it. I think that's good. Maybe they'll even be generous and give me a uh, ink ribbon in a moment. Flame rounds are effective. Yeah, those are good too. Kind of hard to choose. There's so many choices. I'm pistol starved and ink ribbon starved. If I die, we go back kind of far. Takes back to good times. You want to? Yeah, I like this game. It came out during a good time, and it is a good time. Oh, man. Oh, ah. I 
almost got away. Right, cash box dying would be very inconvenient. Inconvenient with a B. What am I doing? Locked from the other side. So I guess I gotta kill those zombies and go out the window or something. I don't know. No, I'm getting attacked by birds. It's like I'll be going back to the box, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's rough. There's an Nemesis fight coming up. I guess I'll just pack up for that then. I guess this is a lot to do for now. Not happy with it though. I'm unsure where they really want me to go after this room. And I'm confused as to why there's no ink ribbons. But I guess it makes sense. Gotta be hard somehow, right? I'll figure it out eventually. Oh yeah, that key. I'm stupid. There's a. F I, I got lost in my train of thought there. There's a key. There's a key. I'm stupid. Well, hey. In all fairness, that's three hours, 49 minutes of progress. Last time I played this, it was just a one-on-one -on -one fight with Nemesis getting spanked around for a while. So forgive my forgetfulness, but there's a key. Could have saved some ammo, probably. Thank you, Fabrice. Yeah, I forgot. Kiwani, I did find the key to success. Purple Drink says if they were in Resident Evil, they'd be furious at the puzzles. Oh, yeah, working in this city would suck. Imagine being like a, a city contractor. Like, I need a gem puzzle out near City Hall. Big C. I don't believe it. You're alive. I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of this town. What are you talking about? We made it! You don't get it. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh. It's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No. If we're gonna die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Uh. <laughs> Damn. So that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No. I just... I can't handle it. 
little baby Carlos can't handle it no more. Ooh. <laughs> I will take the grenade rounds. Fireplace. I'm gonna go get the lighter. You like the remake, Carlos? That's fine, Ioani. I don't I don't mind either, Carlos, really. Oh hey, a gun. This isn't the save room. Yeah, I need to go to the save room. Oh, oh. Not that I can save. You make room for that. I'm gonna have to sacrifice something. I guess I can sacrifice my handgun ammo. But I can't just discard. I guess I could just shoot the the rounds out. I wanna carry my grenades with me, but not a hundred percent if I need the lock pick. I wanted to come back with you know, I wanted to come back with the uh Lighter, anyways, for that fireplace. I'm gonna do that first. Yeah, 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 room's up here. I can't travel too light, though, because, uh... I don't have a save. Very recent one, anyways. Guess we'll just put up the extra handgun ammo. Uh, I could take some extra health, but that's kind of beating the purpose. I'd take the extra handgun, but then I wouldn't be able to throw it away, but the extra ammo wouldn't be unwelcome. This will just... Throw caution in the wind. Man, that's rough, really. Oh, ink ribbons. I oversaved a couple of times. Now I'm suffering hard for you. Yeah, the game does not mind torturing you. Wife just put Tropical Thunder on. Hell yeah, she's got good taste, Grant Gore. I didn't get the lighter. I didn't get the lighter. I didn't get the lighter. Oh, God. I hope Nemesis doesn't come out and just destroy me. Because there's any kind of timer going off in the background that I'm unaware of. I am not going to be on time at all. Especially Nemesis just comes up and grabs the mine launcher and goes, Oh, hey, wouldn't want Jill grabbing this and just throws it away. That'd be awful. Probably don't even need the lighter for this, but I mean, it's a fireplace, right? Wait, there we go. Get back here. Probably not going to work, but I got to know. Hey, you kind of figured you'd keep the lighter on you in this situation. Everybody else does, but Jill's like, nah, I didn't bring my lighter or my lockpick pocket this time. Wait, this is being stupid. You can use this right now, but there's a fireplace right in front of you. Ah, oh, boo. Okay, fine. I get it. And it looks like there's something in the fireplace. I guess not. And I, I guess I won't need my lockpick either, but watch, it probably will. I'd be angry that, uh... Purple Drink said, no fucking way a lighter's the same size as a grenade rifle, right? It must be using some kind of, like, theory of max potential inventory. I still don't buy it. I guess she has like a special pocket for each.
Oh, well, it's good to see you, Wani. Gonna want to pick up a few things. I guess this is a fine inventory for now. I'm nervous not having an ink ribbon, though. It's pretty rough. So I'm gonna have to go in with, uh... A lot of extra ammo and zeal. Unless it put ink ribbons in that big old room, which would be cool. Why well, have to play Metal Gear Solid 1? I'm in the mood for that. MGS1's great. There's really nothing in this room. This room's so well decorated. Big crazy dining room and for medieval knights in the city. But no, nothing. Yes. Operation Instruction. Order for UBCS Echo Team. Wipe out the downtown area of the infestation and evacuate the remaining citizens of the clock tower. Along the citizens, remember to give priority to employees of Umbrella Affiliates. Remember to stay alert because the infected have a hot the infected have a high endurance rate and will strike without hesitation. Evacuation procedure. Once the mission's complete, or when it becomes too impossible to accomplish, evacuate immediately. We'll deploy a helicopter that's waiting in the suburbs to the yard in the front of the clock tower. You're ready for evacuation. Ring the bell of the clock tower to signal the helicopter. You just gotta ring that bell. Give me some ink ribbons. Come out. Another save room. I bet it's got ink ribbons. Sounds like shit. Dude, dude. Okay. Dude, dude is written on the label. Blue points to an MGS1 remake. That was cool. I kind of just want to play the PlayStation one just because. Opposite. Ooh, do do. Okay. Hey, Carlos. Spider. Oh, Ingrid. Any of those? Ah, spiders. Ah. Doing pretty good though. I'm feeling a little confident now that I got my ink ribbons and I can do a save proper. Do we got anything else in here? Anything nice? No idea, but I'm gonna save now. I forget Carlos's last name. See how the poll's doing. With 76 votes, Demisterskew winning with 46%, Heisenberg tailing with 32, Donna Benavidito with 14, and poor Moreau at 8. Well, I'm going to keep the poll going because that's a question I know a lot of people like to answer. Poor Moreau. Moreau's my favorite.
kind of feels like I'm carrying too much, but we did just save, so, you know. We'll just take it as it is for now. Yeah, Creed Gaming. I don't know how people didn't like Moreau more. He, he said he was the best, and he wasn't wrong. Oh, yeah, more keys. Big West. Oh, I guess this is where I would have entered if I jumped out. I would have been like, ah, and then Carlos would be hurt, probably. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll just leave him then because someone has made a mess inside the drawer. I like the little uh, porcelain butt plug they got there. That's cool. Donna's good. I like all of them. I just, I like Moreau. I like Moreau because he turns into a giant fish and he loves being the giant fish. I don't know why I, I, I respect that so much, but I'm like, yeah, you get him, Moreau. He's the underdog. That's exactly it. He's the underdog. I like the spider room. Gun strike with five bucks. Thank you for the tip, man. He says, hey, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. Uh, Resident Evil Nemesis made my mood very pleasant. It's a good game. I don't need to go out here yet. I'm going to take a peek. Just want to make sure it was unlocked. I hate to be carrying around a key for no good reason. Oh, I know that sound. It's a spider. Bunch of spiders. No. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm just gonna run then. There we go. Hey, thank you, Demonic Wharf. I appreciate it. I've been doing the video game stuff for a while on YouTube, and it's just fun to upload video game stuff. I like video games. They're a big interest of mine, so... An opportunity to, uh, share video games is something I'm always open for. We'll make sure to do more survival horror. I know that's what a lot of folks are here for. They see Resident Evil, you know. I don't blame you. Because I'm having a lot of fun with this. So I'm glad I'm doing it too. I still need to go back through RE4 on pro mode. Although the VR version may be coming out soon. So doing it in VR could be real cool, you know. Thank you, Burble Drink, for keeping everything uh, straight. I appreciate you, man. Doing me a big favor. Oh, what the what the fuck is this? Oh no. Uh. Okay, is it boo 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 or boo boo boo? Eh.
Okay, I get it. I will operate the switches. No, I don't need to hear it again. I understand. The ones, the other ones are so off tune. I'm gonna take a sip from my drink. Next. 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 Up. Next. Down. Next. Up. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is getting a VR version like September, I think. That's what they say anyways. We'll see. Wait, hold on. Hopefully they, the puzzle didn't change. No! Ah. Hope you like this song, everybody. Yeah, RE7 on PS4 has VR, and it's really good VR. It's just that the headset sucks. I'll be interested to see if they do a, uh, like an upgrade for the PSVR version of RE7. Because they didn't do the VR for the PC version, right? It would be nice to play RE4 VR on a fancy headset. It's good. There's more ink ribbons laying there too. Cursed. Cursed. There better be a chest. There's no chest. Oh, it's still my inventory right okay well we'll just run all the way back to chest come back up here then right that won't be so bad i was have to run past the uh spiders but i blew some of them up so it's no bad not too bad no too bad yeah i'm sure they'll just like increase the amount of enemies use the cord and get zapped thing reasonable to do is to run away and come back all right that's fine i want to get all the items anyways that's fine i'm coming back anyways nemesis so shut up there was a chest in the tower i didn't see one maybe i'm blind
There's a chest by the gears. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I guess I'm already down here. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Out of my way. I'm running all the way back. Oh god. And if there's a chest here the whole time, I'm gonna feel stupid. I didn't see it, but maybe I'm just getting tired. I guess it is fun to run away from Nemesis though, so I'm not entirely bummed out. I spent so much time fighting Nemesis at the start. I'm having a good time fighting him now. Oh yeah, I guess I may as well equip the shotgun since I'm about to put that away. Unless the upgrade parts disappeared, that'd be funny. I see another spider, I'm gonna shoot it. Yeah, he just waits. Or if he's like, no, no, take your time. I dropped you some upgrade parts. I just carry half a shotgun with me. Just in case I feel like putting one together. You never know. Oh my God, there's a chest there the whole time. I'm insane and stupid. I throw rounds. Well, you know what? It was a fun run, and we got to say hi to Nemesis again, so. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah! Let's put together a new shotgun. Western Custom! A special reload system and is effective for close range battle. 12 gauge shotgun shells. We've got two shotguns. Nemesis is like my dance partner. Got tango with them, you know. Ah, uh, okay. I wonder what I need to carry with me because I'm feeling like I'm running kind of heavy here. Let's put the freeze rounds up. I probably don't need those right now. We'll put away our extra shotgun. We may use it later. Keep the acid rounds in case I run into something unexpected. Although it is giving me like mind thrower, you know, makes you think. Like, hint, hint, right? Maybe use the mind thrower, I guess. I don't know if that's entirely necessary either. Yeah, lower the number, the bigger it is. So, like, a 10 gauge is a pretty, pretty beefy shotgun shell. It is backwards when you think about it, but, you know, that's how it is. So we got some more ink ribbons here. This is a real treasure right here. The ability to save the game.
Okay, and we're doing something, and I forget what that is, but whatever. Fine. I could pop a save now, or I could uh, be conservative with it and not so wasteful. Uh, what time is it? On in the late hours here. I have to wrap this up, actually. Damn, time has a way to slip. Yeah, yeah. I'll save, and we'll have we'll have a we'll have a small friendly chat, and then we'll uh, finish it finish up the rest of the game another day. I think that makes about sense. If I if I go too much further, I don't think there will actually be enough game to like cover another stream the first stream being four hours is literally just a freak accident and get some cool music at least here we go maybe it doesn't show but we get to just hear his music I'm glad I chose to use the wires instead of the light. It was way more fun to electrocute him and get the shotgun parts. Take a look at the shotgun. Let's equip it. Oh man, firing it like that looks like it would hurt after <laughs> like not too long. <laughs> this is a special operative Jill showing you how to break both of your wrists at the same time. Still though, it's an upgrade. It does more damage, I think. I guess it's nice. Here's the fucking mind Thor monstrosity. It is. Let's fire it, I guess. Let's see what it does. I'm guessing those hurt bad guys. I wonder if I can shoot one. Doesn't appear you can shoot him. Let's try shooting with a grenade. Nope. Oh, it's worth trying. How's this one shoot? Reloads way better. Yeah, that was good to get. Okay, well, uh, you know, we we went from a place that sucked. Oh, you gotta you gotta use the whole mind throw before you can reload it. Okay, well, that's good information to have. Reloading will cause the unexploded mines to disappear. Okay. Ah, oh, they disappeared. Ah, oh, no. All this ammo wasting hurts. Well, I'm, I'm, I have a save earlier, so it's fine. We're, we're good. Since we, we got enough time to finish the game up on the next stream, probably. I don't mind taking a little bit of time. Mess around. Oh my god, there's no sky, it's just a big fake wall. Everything's a lie, Jill. Was hurt me? Nope. Yeah, I think when I played the game a long time ago, one of the things I feared is like, well, I can't use a grenade launcher, I'm close, I'll get hurt, but Jill's like, no, nah, I'm cool. As long as they're my explosions, they don't hurt me. He just dodges them by vibrating, I guess. I don't know. Just something. Take that, viewers. Take that. Sprow, sprow. Well, there goes all my ammo. All right, well, we're going to close up the poll. Here we go. The Mr. Ski wins with 44%. Carl Heisenberg with second place at 35. Donna Benavido 
12%, and Salvatore Moreau with 9%. Well, I'm with the minority on this vote. Not, Salvatore Moreau deserves more respect. So does my sleep schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Four hours has passed my amount of time, but I'm glad you all came in to watch today. I'm glad you're enjoying some Resident Evil. We'll continue with Resident Evil 3, and we'll do Resident Evil 2, Claire, uh, A, Leon, B. Or the, you know, the second, uh, scenario soon. And we can do that with this, uh, HD pack as well. That will be fun. I'm looking for that. There is a lot more. I'd like to also throw some other survival horror games out there. Maybe we can get Alan Wake going. I know Silent Hill 1's running. We got that going. So definitely Silent Hill 1 sometime in the future. Maybe even Resident Evil Zero against my better judgment. But that's going to be it. So I appreciate y'all for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. And thank you for the tips. Gunstrike. Rio Conjun 69, Garza Dragon, Eric Jennings, Arnofren Renzo, which by the way, congratulations on your car in Forza. I'm happy for you. North Prince and Bruno, as well as Eric Jennings, Lucky Nugget, Wes Cruz, next to Fox. I'm going into the previous day. That's fine. You know, I appreciate them too. <laughs> all right well thank you for stopping by i appreciate you for watching be back again tomorrow with something i'm not sure what and uh i don't know glad you enjoyed it i'm enjoying resident evil nemesis you should try the seamless hd project there's a link down in the description if you have it it's a pretty cool way to play it it looks really nice i recommend it <laughs>